Hello everyone. Today is the second class on the topic chancroid. We are going to learn the clinical features. The incubation period is about a week. It is three to seven days. And ulcer and bubo are two very important clinical findings in a case of chancroid. Now the important sites or the more frequent sites with ulcer occurs. In a male it is prepuce. Then it can be on the frenulum. It can be on the glands, the coronal sulcus or the shaft of penis. It can even be on the like near the urethral meatus. In a female, the predilection of sites are foreshit, labia minora, the vestibule and the clitoris. Now we'll move on to the extragenital sites. It occurs in the extragenital sites due to auto inoculation of the bacteria. That means the patient itself moves the bacteria from one place to the other via some like finger manipulation etc. It can be on the perianal area, the oral mucosa, fingers, thighs, buttocks or breasts. It is important to know that the perianal and oral mucosa are mostly involved due to the unnatural sex practice. Now we will go to the description of ulcer. H. Ducre infection after the infection, after the incubation period of a, about a week, the patient will develop a papule which in 2 to 3 days becomes a pustule. So this is a papule, a pustule filled with pus, sorry, pus and then it will take about up to two weeks to ulcerate. So this is the ulcer. Now the description of ulcer is very important. The ulcer will have a margin where the ulcer meets the surrounding skin. It will have an edge, basically the wall of the ulcer, a floor. So this is the floor and the base of the ulcer is on which the ulcer rests. Now the margin will be sharp and ragged. The edge is undermined. The base is soft or non-indurated. This differentiates it from the chancre. The floor is covered with yellow gray, necrotic or impurulent, foul smelling exudate. Over, over a layer of granulation tissue, this is the granulation tissue which bleeds easily. The size of the ulcer is around 1 to 2 cm. So, now how we will write the description? There are multiple ulcers due to auto inoculation multiple soft very painful 1 to 2 cm in size sharp rat margins with undermined edges and the floor covered with yellow exudate over granulation tissue that bleeds easily A very important feature is the kissing ulcers in chancroid. When the skin gets opposed, ulcer on one side has a very similar like mirror image ulcer on the other side. Like if it if the ulcer is on one's pubis, there can be another ulcer of 
exactly a mirror image on the thigh so these are the kissing ulcers so in males the ulcer and the nubo are the main presenting features in females the ulcer is not the presenting feature due to the anatomical differences it is usually dysuria dyspareunia and dyskinesia these are the presenting features or the symptoms in females sometimes there are a triad of the chancroid ulcer the first is a pain associated moderate to severe pain painful ulcer the second is the undermined edges of the ulcer and the third one is the yellow gray dirty exudate on the on the floor so this is a triad an interesting point is these ulcer might self heal in 3 to 4 months if they are left untreated but the pain and the scarring and the sequelae of both ulcer and the bubo are the reasons for the management and treatment of these patients now we move on to the description of bubo so what is a bubo it has been derived from a greek word bubon which literally means inflamed groins so there will be ulcer in the genitalia and then there will be inflammation of the inguinal lymph nodes in about 50% of the patients with genital chancroid ulcer there will be inguinal lymphadenitis and it takes around 1 to 2 weeks after ulcer to develop inguinal lymphadenitis this is usually unilateral like in 60% patient they are unilateral they are tender and the overlying erythema of the skin is very characteristic in 25% these lymphadenitis will undergo suppuration and will get filled with thick pus these are now called bubo sometimes the inguinal lymphadenitis is also called bubo but that is very loosely attached term this fluctuant unilocular abscess that developed in the inguinal lymph nodes filled with thick creamy viscous pus are called bubo there they mainly contain neutrophils bacteria might or might not be present or even uh, cultured or gram stain from these it might ulcerate and the ulcer will be chancroidal with the characteristic feature of the chancroid ulcer and form even sinuses the males are more affected than females by bubo now this is a clinical picture of chancroid this is the ulcer with characteristic morphology this is the bubo which has ulcerated we can see a small kissing ulcer here probably it has spread from the penile ulcer from here to here the bubo and the ulcer together makes the patho pathognomic sign of chancroid if both are present together some important points there is no prodrome in edu dukri infection and there is no systemic features in chancroid because these bacteria cannot survive above 35 degree of celsius and thus there is no bacteremia in chancroid this brings us to the end of the class in the next class we will be discussing the clinical variants of the chancroid which is very important thank you very much and bye for now